The Millennium Village Project Community Health Worker Program has one simple goal. The goal is to reach households in rural communities that are not able to get to clinics themselves, either because the distances are too far, the costs are too high, or there is enough sickness or illness to prevent them from reaching the clinic in time. Community health workers exist throughout Sub-Saharan Africa, Africa, Latin America, Asia, Latin America, and they go from household to household in communities to meet primary health care needs, both prevention and education, but even basic curative procedures in the household level. The Millennium Village Project Community Health Worker Program exists in the context of the larger Millennium Village Health System, as well as the Millennium Village Project, which encompasses an integrated approach to rural development across agriculture, health, education, business development, community development, and a number of other areas that include infrastructure building, water, roads. A key feature about the Millennium Village Project is that it is a costed, time-bound approach to reaching the Millennium Development Goals. At the cost of $110 per person per year, the idea is that one could reach the Millennium Development Goals in a community that, I that uh, it has economic poverty um, in, a in a manner that is replicable, scalable, and rooted to scientific methodologies that have been adapted to community uses. The community health workers throughout the Millennium Village, no matter what country they're in, are a crucial link between households and the health system, the formal health system. The manner that this takes place varies very much across the 10 countries that the Millennium Village Project operates and the 14 clusters that encompass about 450,000 people uh, where they live. In some countries, they don't pay community health workers and they work as volunteers. In other countries, they have historically done educational or health promotional activities, while in others, they have shown to be extremely critical for the treatment and prevention of malaria and even cures, um, curative treatment of malaria at the household level. The Millennium Village Project has, is defined by a few core principles. First is that community health workers should be a full-time member of the health system as well as the community. Because of this, they should be paid. And what we have found over the years is that although it may be, from a national perspective, difficult to imagining financing community health worker programs, health worker programs themselves lead to incredible benefits in terms of economic development through the better health of people in those communities. The community health worker program has started in the Millennium Village projects in the backdrop of 40 and 50 years of history of people developing health worker programs that are meant to meet the same needs that we hope to meet today. We aim to meet primary uh, health service needs related to safe pregnancy, safe childbirth, treating diarrhea, treating malaria, dealing with fever in the household, which may include pneumonia as well, as well as malnutrition. And the health worker program is designed across the Millennium Village Project to be a systematic process to adapt it to local needs in line with national policy. The child count program is a critical feature of what we hope to do because it is adaptable and has been worked to be compatible with national policies. At the same time, it pushes forward where countries are by showing exactly what the community health workers are doing in the household as they're doing it through real-time monitoring of performance and service delivery. This will enable us to work with communities and governments to show exactly what health workers do, how much it should be paid or remunerated, and what these systems are worth, both in terms of social impact, but in terms of economic value. As we move forward, this process is, is going to be expanding beyond the community health worker programs in the Millennium Villages as part of large multi-country scale-up efforts. And along the way, this will have to be adapted and designed to fit country needs as well as meeting the same universal needs for primary health care that exists whether you're in Africa, America, or Asia.